This is the last step of this exercise. We're going to reposition and defocus the backplate. We're going to use an axis to reposition the background. Select the entrance backplate clip on the bottom layer. Keep the focus point on the top layer. This allows you to see the composite in context in the player. Enable the axis effect. Make sure Auto key is deactivated. Reposition the background so you can see some blue sky and hide the walkway at the bottom. Set the scale value to 75% in the axis controls. And set the position Y value to minus 400. The back plate is sharper than the foreground plate. That's because the back plate comes from a still camera and the foreground plate from an HD camera. We'll blur the back plate to simulate depth of field. Make sure the back plate is still selected. Enter the axis module by pressing the E button. In the axis menu, look at the image controls on the right side. Look for the blur controls. Change the blur type from box to Gaussian. This gives a smoother blur. Set a value of 5 for both the X and Y values. Then exit the axis. Let's process the result. Select the topmost clip and click on the process button. You can select the full screen player in the source area layout and play back your result. Don't forget to save your work at every important step. Select the record folder in the Edit Desk folders. Make sure that the Smoke Footage Library is selected in the Library box, then press Save Selected. Choose Replace to overwrite the previous save timeline. Your timeline is now saved and you're ready to continue with the next exercises.